if you're struggling to be consistent and if you're struggling to be confident with this new F1 2024 handling, this video is just for you. In today's video I will share to you my best settings that made me improve one second per lap just with these settings. This is so powerful and I can be more, much more precise and I am so much more confident. So let's dive into the settings menu, just press settings and the main focus of this video as you saw on the thumbnail is controls vibration and force feedback. So let's dive completely into my settings, calibration, just leave all zero and obviously steering rate, rate 100, put steering linearity, linearity between 1 and 5, uh, if you don't have a direct drive wheel, if you have it, just put zero. If you don't have it, like me, that I have a Logitech G29, put like two or three, or at least five, minimum two. Believe me, it made, it made a bit the difference. But the uh, magic starts now. Vibration and force feedback 95. This for uh, a non direct -drive, drive wheel, so with much less. Uh, you know, power. If you have a direct drive wheel, I really suggest you, I don't have it, but I think 65, 70 is enough because you have a lot, much more power. So go 95, not more than 100, it will it will clip for sure. So you will basically lose power. Uh, on track effects, 20, 20, 20 for these, 42 pieces of FX. And these are up to you, you know, but the magic starts in these two values, this really make the difference. This is, these are the main focus of this video. Putting wheel damper also from zero to one make a bit the difference. You really can see the difference between zero and one. Try for yourself. Uh, I was running at one before today that I tried, let's try five. I was much, much more precise. And then, so I tried 10, and I was even more precise. I tried 50, and it's too much. So playing around it, like from from 5 to 11, 12 is a good value, to be honest. I put it to 10. Uh, I'm, I'm much more confident, much more precise in corner entry and exit, and on the straights as well, because it uh, make, you know, a minimum force through the wheel, which is amazing and you can really, really be more precise, believe me, try for yourself. And also, maximum wheel rotation. The game, the fall, sets it to, let's say, 400 degrees, that is a bit too much in my opinion. And so, 360 is a good value, but because I was running and 330, 340, as F123, but in this game you need more steering, uh, and so 360 is the perfect value because is as the real life, you know, the real life is 360 degrees, so is like real life, and you can be much more precise if you run 360 than, for example, 320, 330. But if you run, you know hop, for example, 380, 400, you will lose uh, control of the car, you will lose smoothness and basically responsiveness from the wheel. So 360 is the perfect value, don't don't change it, to be honest. So for this video was just all, guys. Uh, let me know if this worked, please leave a like if this video was helpful, if you liked it. Also, s subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this, because on this channel we cover, I, I let you improve lap times and something like that. I give you my settings to improve your lap times. So, as always, it's been a pleasure. Cheers.